Hello, I'm Thiago Silva and I'm an information technology student in the University of Gloucestershire and I'm doing a project here in Introduction to Physical Computing and Programming uh, It's where I can send data from Arduino into the computer through a data system or Excel uh, so I'm using the Excel spreadsheet and to get the data I'm using a sonic sensor and here it, it emits sonic waves and bounces back to detect it and there's a safety zone so if it's on if it detects anything under 40 centimeters the red light will turn on but any f more than that then it'll then the green LED will turn on instead uh, if this is a good okay and basically this Basically, this can be used to check if there's a uh, worker in your room or if someone's into the room at a certain time. Because when the data is sent into the computer, you can display what time the data was sent, as in actual real time. So it can be used for security purposes or to check if a worker is in their room or not. Since um, the code has a statement, which will be generated depending on which light is on like say Bill is in the room or Bill is not in the room okay I'll show what's on the computer now okay here I'm going to show how Arduino and the data transfer to Excel works but for now I'm just going to show how the sonic sensor works since that's where the data is being made now in the serial monitor it shows that there's a distance and a statement the distance is over 40, which is the safe zone in the code, uh, then it'll give the statement Joker is not in the room. This also verse works vice versa, so which I'll show later, where if the distance is over 40, the green LED will light up, and in the if statement, it'll show Joker is not in the room. While if it's the red LED that lights up, it'll show the statement Joker is in the room, but that's if the distance is lower than 40. And this can be shown in the serial monitor. And we're just using the serial monitor to show this. In any case, moving on to another part of the code, which is for the data transfer to Excel. This only works if certain pieces of the code is put in, like var1. It also works for var2 and var3, although they're only really for words that work. Now. Onto the Excel seat, which is where the data transfer will be made, you need port 3 and speed 9600 because that's what's put into the code and Arduino. And we need the commands and parameters, but we're going to use my function because it doesn't need a parameter. And here, if we click this to put in data, but the data will be cleared. However, that's fine since we're starting out. Now, to get the data in, we're going to click in send, uh, and it will record the data. In other words, we got the actual time here, based on what the computer has. Uh, and then the ID, which goes from 1 and upwards, where click and send. And it shows the send command is my function, and var1. And then, it's joke in the room is the string statement, and it's can change as you can see here from Joker is not in the room to Joker is in the room. This is happening because it's coming from Arduino in the first place. We're only sending the data into Excel. And this is necessary through a macro. Which, to start off with, the Excel sheet isn't mine, but I have edited pieces of the macro so that it works how I need it to. And I'm just going to show you what you re need by entering this wrongly because you definitely need a command and with other commands you need a parameter. Although it doesn't really affect the output of this statement or any other function, you, if you're using any other command you'll still need them otherwise you're not going to really be able to make the data transfer. Which now I'm showing the correct version of it, although the parameter you put in might not matter. Although it's still necessary if you're using any command except my function. 
this is pretty much the data transfer at this point you just need to keep clicking send so this isn't really done automatically though it proves the data transfer does work